Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna make this quick because this is a do-over. I had to redo this video. I left this part out of the box opening and I wanted to share this because I thought it was a really nice little piece to add. Um, so this baby, Zeke, is mine and I'm assuming this is his date of birth, June 12, 2023, but he um, was painted and rooted by Yarlina's Reborn Nursery. She's on Facebook and YouTube and, and Instagram, sorry. Um, but I wanted to come back on and share him. And I, like I said in the box opening, I think I was really drawn to certain little markings in his face. I actually had showed interest in this baby before I even seen the limbs. And so, and then when she rooted him, I was like, oh, he's really, really cute. So I'm definitely excited to be able to bring a baby home from another artist. It's always a, you know, a, a blessing to be able to buy from other artists as an artist, because you guys know, I told y'all, it's a struggle sometimes. Oh, here she go being victim again. <laughs> and he is. <laughs> anyway, um, let me show you. Uh, look at him. Ah, boom. Look. He, the, the one thing that I do like is that he looks um, pretty much like the photos that I've seen. So I love that because there was no surprises. Okay. Um, and I, I let his little legs be out a little bit. Um, in this little outfit, but yeah, I just wanted to come back and show you guys that because I forgot to 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 uh, do that, and so yeah, it's it's so nice to be able to get a box opening from somebody else. I don't have to do all the work. The baby, I open it up and I can enjoy the baby. I don't have to work. It's like when you get through cooking a major dinner, like for instance, like if it's a feast for a family or an event that you're having and it's multiple people so i'm saying you you do all this work because a regular meal don't count i'm talking about when you cook in several dishes and all this and stuff and by the time you get through you're entertaining your guests you don't really get to really enjoy, sit down and enjoy yourself as if when you just go to an event and you're the you're the uh guest and not the hostess that's how it is with <laughs> getting other artists work it's like Oh, yes, I get to get the baby without the work. So, um, although you do have to spend money. But anyway, um, I really love the quality of his hair. His rooting is nice. One thing I want to mention that I mentioned in the video before I messed it up because I was I went and started talking about things I shouldn't be talking about. Okay, okay. Um, mono rooting and micro rooting. I did for the longest time people were like, I mono root. I'm like, what is that? Like mono. I mono isn't that never mind. Um so micro rooting is like one or two hairs per hole. Not pluggy, like you know, five, six hairs in one hole. I ain't gonna say what I said on the first video, okay? See, I'm working on myself, I'm getting better. Um, mono rooting is one hair per hole, baby. That's a lot, and <laughs> that's a whole lot, a lot of patience, time. Listen, so but as you can see, the result is really nice, especially on these edges, baby. Let me get to the let me, baby. Y'all ain't ready for these edges. Let me, baby. Let me show you what these edges do. Come on, baby, focus for me now. See how the edges can lay down. Yeah. So them edges be really good when you mono root. But most people will mono root around the edges and then you can, you know, not be so crazy around the rest. But anyway, he's mono rooted the whole head. But I'm going to go in there and I'm going to check. And if I find where he got two hairs in any hole. <laughs> I'm just playing. That be collectors for you, baby. You if you put mono rooted on that listing, baby, you gonna get that one collector that's gonna sit there, baby, with their magnifying glasses. Be like, uh, I, I need, I need a hundred dollars off because you say this was mono rooted. I, I'm pretty sure right here. You see right here in this hole, it literally has two hairs. <laughs> baby, what? <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen, okay. But seriously, guys, um, this is not a changing video or anything like that. So I'm just, I just make it quick for you guys. But I just wanted to share him. Um, what else can I tell you about him? You guys know, like I said, I love his little bruising. Um, he's waited to perfection. Oh my gosh, I did hold him the first day that he got home. I haven't had much time to really interact with him as much. Um, because you guys know I'm like really, really pushing myself to finish with Tyler and also Ziggy's getting his makeover. I also have other babies on the table, but I'm not even bothering with them right now. It's really about Ziggy and this other baby um getting rooted. So I haven't really had time, but the first day when he got home, I actually held him for so long because he felt so good. He still feels good when you pick him up. And I'm so used to when I get my reborns, and I haven't got a reborn from nobody in a long time, but almost every one of my reborns, I tend to end up adding weight to them, taking weight away, re-weighting some type of way. Almost every one that I, I've gotten, the only one I'm not taking apart is Joey because I'm not touching him. He has on a custom body and it's like sewn and stitched and I ain't, mm -mm. nope, uh, he will stay. Um, light as a feather like he is because I'm not going to touch him. But I was happy that I didn't have to do that with him. So, um, it's just really nice. It's nice to have, you know, an extra baby in, in, in the nursery. You guys will see him from time to time. But keep in mind, I don't really show my personal collection from other artists as much on my channel. Um, or... Well, I probably show them more. My, I would show them more on my channel, but I don't show them as much as I share my own babies because I have been working more and wanting to promote my own work. <laughs> Girl, what? But I do like to show other um, my other babies in my collection from other artists, just because. Girl, they're beautiful, and I appreciate the artists and their hard work, and I think it's fun to also switch it up sometime because y'all don't want to always see my babies. Um, you know, so, you know, I, you probably will see him a little bit. Um, and I'm trying to make my rounds guys though, and show a little bit of all my babies. Um, even the ones that I didn't paint, um, on my channel and stuff. You probably won't see them as much on Instagram. I should have said, more than anything like Instagram and then you'll see them in my group on Facebook serenity and friends chat club I'll probably post pictures of him in there and my other babies that's not for me in that I'm gonna start posting more in that group um, but like on my business page you'll only see babies painted by me um, and but my other and my regular page, my personal page, which is my personal profile page, as far as uh, the Serenity Smith profile page, I'm not accepting friends on that page anymore because I want people to follow me on my actual page page. But anyway, nevertheless, anyway, guys. So I oh he's an autumn sculpt. He's a real born. Um, and again, like I said, his his artist name is Yarlina's Reborn Nursery, and um. As you guys can see, you can go back to the box opening. He came with, you know, really nice things that you guys will start seeing on him and some of the other babies because <laughs> they share clothes in here. Uh, what else I wanted to tell you guys? He's a good baby. He sleeps all through the night, um, which is good because sometimes when the babies come, they don't sleep all through the night. They fuss. But this one, no, he sleeps a lot. And the good thing is also he's like, he's not a gassy baby or anything like that. So he's just really, really calm and peaceful. And I love that about him. Um, he sleeps a lot. He only gets up when he's hungry or if he's wet or he's got a poopy diaper. And that's all I have to worry about other than that. And he, he likes his passive, but he doesn't. He doesn't want it a lot, so um, he's just a calm baby. He doesn't have to have a passy in his mouth when he's awake. So yeah, um, so yeah, so he is really really nice. If you guys are looking for, you know, 
an affordable reborn you can check out her page if it's your taste or your style um then you know there you have it but for me <laughs> i think he is going to be staying here i would say forever but y'all know i be lying a lot of times when i say that so but i think he'll be here for a while if not forever so him and Cairo when I finally when I look when I do my next change in the nursery and figure out how I'm gonna organize these babies him and Cairo will probably be bunk mates they'll probably be close by each other because I think they kind of work together well so I'll put him and Cairo together so and you guys so I got Ziggy Zeke and Zenday that with my z's who else i got with a z that's it for right now and then i have oh and then i i have my um so i've been doing z's lately i have joey and jonah vegas oh, what did i name that other baby mm -mm 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 -mm. Indy, um, I don't know, but anyway, so let me go. I said this wasn't going to be a long video. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and guys, make sure you join the Chatterbox if you want to be a Chatterbox member. It is $4.99 to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old and baby, why you want to join? Because it's lit <laughs> and because I say it, so no, I'm just playing because we want you to come on in and share the tea with us no i'm just playing it's not it's not the type of group it's just us loving dolls anyway see you guys later thanks for watching bye bye